So now I'm going to the tip of the nose. I know this is awful small. And I'm going to go to that dot that is up on, its, on the top of its fin. And I'm now going to maintain that angle. And, and we, again, we, we could get away with some inaccuracy. But because I decided where I'm going to put the end of the nose, now that is all decided. This is going to completely take away any calculations, any measurements, or anything. All you need to do is match up where angles intersect each other and you're going to be off to the races. And we don't need too many things on here to get a very accurate uh, uh, you know, size of the fish and everything. So now I'm down here on the end of the nose. I'm going to make sure I, I intersect that and keep my angle true by making sure that my paper is right there, uh, a parallel with my, my little reference here. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make this right there there. And so now we have an all-important, I better put this, I'm going to circle all these to, even though I don't want circles and they're hard to get off and uh, I don't want you to always have to do something like that. But now remember if you've done this with me before, now I can put this up here and I can pretty much decide what the angle is going to be. It isn't perfectly level, it's already starting to come down but I just want to remind myself what in the world am I drawing. So now this is going to be the fish's nose. And I could even go this far. I could come, I could come in here. I'm going to pick out the, the angle, the overall angle of this. I'm always looking for angles. And if I wanted to know how much this goes in from a, another angle, I could go from here to here later and see how, just like I was talking about with that fin, I could see how this bows out of a straight line through here, you know, just by using the, uh, uh, you know, the fact that I'm going to pick the one that's farthest out this way and the farthest out that way, and then just like we would on a grid, uh, you start seeing how it fits in relationship uh, to the squares or the lines that you have created. So there we go with that one. Let's go ahead and come up with this angle. We'll go from here to there. I want to find out where this is. And so now, well, maybe we have to go over here. Let's, let's do that. We could go over to either side. I just want to make sure you guys can see. And I had to make this small enough to where we could fit it around. Uh, but I'm going to go from the end of the nose and over to where it intersects that line for my, um, the bottom uh, part of the head, I guess. All of a sudden I'm wondering, what in the world do I call that? Okay, so we're going to go from the, and here is the bottom of the fish. Okay, so now, boy, I'm already, I'm already starting to get some pretty cool ideas about, you know, what I want to be able to do. And maybe I can come back with this. And I could find out where and how long the mouth is, but maybe I'll just freehand it in there and get an idea. And then as soon as I do that, I'll have an idea later of where I want to change something, because maybe my decision wasn't so great. And I can create this angle that I have in here. Let's go ahead and just do that so we can, it looks like it's pretty straight. And so I'm going to go ahead, and you can use either side. For something like this, you can use either side. It doesn't make any difference of the, of the straight edge, the top or bottom. But here's my, here's my little indicator of how that little nose is going to go. And it's the right angle and everything. So here I'm already off to the races.